Hi, this is Gene Arnold, and today I'd like to show you a cool new feature with JasperSoft Report Server 6.1. It's a new data source that makes it easier to work with JSON documents in Jasper Report Server. And I have a little example that I want to show you. It's kind of cool, and I thought you might like it. So let me, uh, let me show you how it works. One of the things that people ask for uh, is the ability to work with flat files up on Jasper Report Server. So this is the beginnings of, of that specific request. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to work with two different flat files, a people document and a popular websites document. They're formatted in JSON, as you can see, though you also may see the extension XML. Uh, right now, Jasper Report Server looks for a, a .xml extension when it wants to upload a, a file for this specific example. So understand if we have anyone using Jasper Report Server watching the video, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But bottom line is I'm working with two JSON documents, and we're going to upload them into Jasper Report Server. We're going to create data sources against them, and we're going to actually use them in a domain and ad hoc and do some cool stuff with it. So let's go and uh, start playing with Jasper Report Server and make this all happen. So here's Jasper Report Server 6.1, and I'm going to log in. And we'll go to the View Repository. I created a folder called JSON Example, and I'm now going to add those two documents up into uh, the repository. Okay, so let's go over here, and we will add a file. And the first one we will call uh, JSON underscore. People? Okay. And let's choose a file. That'd be a good thing to do. And we'll go to my desktop and we'll choose people. And we're going to save it in this specific folder. And we'll click submit. And then we'll go and do it again. Web. web traffic. Okay. And let's choose this file too. And actually, let me change this to something else. Web sites. Cool. Okay. So now we have two documents. Once I click on save, saved up in Jasper Report Server. We have our people JSON document, and we have our websites JSON document. Next, let's go and create a data source to each one of these. So we're also going to right click on that same folder. Well, actually, let me do something first here. I want to show you what we have to do. I'm going to go and start with people. Let's right click on people and go to properties I need that path. And you'll see why in just a minute. Let's right click and add our data source. And we're going to choose a JSON data source this time. All right. And we're going to put it in here. Okay. So what we're basically saying here is this JSON data source is going to look for the specific data in the repository. That's why I had to copy that path. This could also be a URL. And you could pre-query this if you wanted to. Now, my document is very simple. It's pretty much just right off the root node there. It's, just, it's not really very complicated. But you could actually put a query and drill into that a little bit further if you wanted to. So let's just go with that. Click on Save. All right. And we are going to call this data source underscore people. OK? All right, that's our first one. Let's go to the website, right click, properties again, 
copy that one, and we'll do the same thing. Add a resource, data source, JSON, repo, paste that in there, and we'll call it data source underscore web sites. Okay, cool. So now we've got two data sources that are speaking to two of, uh, to one, of one of each of those specific JSON files. Next, what I'd like to do is just show you a quick demonstration of getting some data out right away. Let's go create a, a real fast domain. Right click, add resource, let's make a domain, and let's call this domain dm underscore people. And our data source is going to be people. Now here's where it gets kind of neat. Watch when I click on Create with Domain Designer. Automatically, I go to the Display tab, and here is the information. OK? So this is coming from the, the people document. In fact, let me just bring that up here for you real quick. If we take a look at people, okay, right? I told you it was a very, very simple JSON document, ID, ID, customer. It pulls it right out for us. That's, that's pretty cool, okay? And, and as I mentioned, you could have put a query in the data source to get different data out if you wanted to. All right. And then just like any domain, you can go and rename everything and make it look all beautiful. But we just need to move this along a little bit. So let's go and click on all right. And we're going to click on Submit. OK, so now that we have the domain built, let's go and show you how you can use the data real quick. Create ad hoc view. All right, I need to pick my domain, which is going to be DM people. Here's my data source with all the fields that you saw a moment ago. I can just pick them all like that if I want. Click on OK. And now I can go to work and, and play around with the data. All right. So I could go and do something like this. Here's my ID. Let's put state here. I'll actually want to change it to a chart real quick. Put state there and put the ID over here. OK. And now we can view it by all the different states. I can filter it down by a state, too, create a filter. Say it is one of, and we'll pick a few of these. Uh, bottom line is I can work with the data just like I know I'll be able to work with it. As a user, just throwing a flat file up on the screen uh, very easily. So now that we have our data sources, we know that our domains work. We're doing a little bit of testing over there before. Let's go and create something called a virtual data source, and let's tie in both of our flat files, both of these data sources together. So I'm going to right click, add a new data source called virtual data source. And let's go and pick our two data sources. Okay, and we'll just make it look like that. All right, so we're using both of our data sources in this one virtual data source. Okay, let's give this a try. Save. Let's call this BDS underscore full, full data. Okay, click on Save. So now we have our virtual data source. Let's use that inside of a domain. Underscore full data. And we're going to use our virtual data source as the data behind this domain. We'll bring in all of our information. And now we have both flat files. And what we'll do is we will use them both, okay, in our example, 
just like you normally would with creating a domain. You have to join them. So we're going to join two flat files together. That's kind of neat. We'll use people and websites, and we'll use the ID of the person to the customer ID. We'll create our join. And if we go to display, right, there's our join tree. Here's all, our, all of our information. We'll bring everything over. As normal, you can pretty this up if you wanted to, but let's just get to the data. Click on OK and save this. And now we have a domain built off of the data joined from two separate flat files. Let's go and actually do something with the data. We'll go to Create, Ad Hoc View, and choose our full data domain this time. Okay, here are both of our um, sets of data we can choose from. We'll bring it all over, click on OK, and we'll do a table. It's the easiest way to show this right off the bat. So let's take a look at the customer's name. Now let's take a look at the domain that they hit. All right, now we'll go to full data. So what you're seeing right now is data being pulled in from one flat file joined against another flat file. Then, of course, you can do everything that you normally can do with, with domains and, and ad hoc view editors and tables, charts, cross tabs, and everything like that. But that's really what I wanted to show you in this example. This is a, a really cool beginning of the ability to use flat files in Jasper Report Server. So with this type of functionality, users can enrich existing data with flat files and pull it into an example and um, just get different, different visualizations and view data in different ways. Hope you liked the example and um, hope you enjoy our latest release of Jasper Report Server. Thank you very much.